Williams percent R trading strategy. In this video, I will explain who invented the indicator, how is it calculated, and how we can build a strategy around this indicator. Hello, my name is Ali Casey, and welcome to Study Oasis channel where we discuss investing, finance, algo trading, and everything else in between. Basically, we want to make money in the financial market. So if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, so you don't miss any of the daily videos that I post on this channel. Also, if you get any value out of these videos, I would appreciate it if you smash the like button, share the video with others, as this will help me push the message of investing out to the world, and it would help Google algos to push this video to other traders. Okay, first let's start with the definition of William percent R indicator. So Williams percent R, also known as William percent range, is a momentum oscillator that moves between zero and minus 100. Also, actually, you can just flip it and make it move between zero and 100. So it matches all the other oscillators we have. And basically it measured the close in relation to the previous number of bars, uh, high and low. This is the formula, so the highest high minus the close divided by the highest high minus the lowest low of some period of bars. And typically it is 14 days. So the idea being like all oscillators, it measures overbought and oversold over a short period of time. And if you extend the range, uh, it actually can work as a momentum where it actually you go long when it's overbought and you go short when it's oversold. Now, this is extremely close to another indicator. So the stochastic indicator, which is kind of the same thing. So it measures the close minus the lowest low divided by the highest high minus the lowest low times 100. So again, it's between zero and 100. But the only thing the stochastic has another signal, which is percent D, which is just a moving average. But if I plot these two indicators, so this is percent r which is william r and this is the default and here i'm gonna plot the stochastic only the percent k so in the stochastic i just plotted the percent k and it is a copy of <laughs> the indicator of william r except this goes from zero to minus 100 and the stochastic goes from zero to 100 but it's exactly the same thing and then of course i can plot the percent d which is just a smoothing average of that but let's keep that away so then it begs the question why these two indicators still exist till today in the platforms and why nobody is talking about how this is not close but exactly the same so i did some digging around and i have this book that's uh, have all larry williams indicators and we can see here percent r and here larry williams says i developed this indicator in 1966. now obviously larry williams is a great trader and he's been around for so long and hopefully he will stay around for another 100 years and of course he made millions and millions of dollars uh, but in this book, like he says, he invented this indicator in 1966. At that time, there were no like, uh, you know, uh, personal computers. All the books that I have from the 70s, 60s, they actually draw the chart on a piece of paper with a pencil. But in any case, so he said he invented this indicator in 1966. The stochastic indicator was developed in the late 50s by George Lane. And also actually the Investopedia, the only place where I found where they say that these two indicators are the same. So the only difference is Larry Williams goes to minus 100 and the stochastic goes to plus 100, plus it has a signal line. So I don't know like if Larry Williams, when he invented this indicator, didn't know about the stochastic or probably there is like a minute maybe uh, differences, but I mean, I checked, I even built the system trading both and they resulted in the same thing. So on YouTube, if you see Larry Williams different than stochastic, then just know that they are exactly the same. They're just flip and you can easily flip them. Just multiply by minus one, Larry Williams becomes <laughs> stochastic indicator. Like I mentioned, they are both the same, except this one has, the stochastic has a signal line. And if you didn't see my uh, RSI stochastic, 
uh, it's actually much better. I did some testing and I can tell you that stochastic RSI is much better than stochastic alone and then RSI alone, which means it's better than Larry Williams percent R also alone. And you can see that all the dips are there in stochastic RSI. And here in the trade station, I built Larry Williams and I just plotted uh, three days moving average and another one three days moving average just to mimic the stochastic, the stochastic. And as you can see here, it's exactly an opposite of the stochastic. This is just another confirmation. Okay, now we know Larry Williams is exactly like stochastic. So that means you can just watch my stochastic uh, video to see how you can trade this. Or you can see my stochastic RSI video, which is even better. And you can watch both these and the uh, corner. So here I picked the SPY, which is the mean reverting instrument we know. And I loaded all the days. And then we're trading 100 shares. No options here. And no commission, no slippage. And I just did the stochastic, typical stochastic 933. When it's below 20, uh, we'll go long. As this is a mean reverting instrument. And this is a copy of <laughs> Williams uh, percent R at 9 periods. And we will only exit after one day. So if we run a full back test, and of course it's going to work, we know. And now this is the power of data mining packages like Strategy Quant X. So if you go to YouTube, you'll find many trying to say, oh, but you know, don't use it alone. Use it probably with the close above the 100 day moving average or use it with the MACD or use it with the RSI. I don't know. They will come up with something and they will show you on the chart, which of course is uh, crap, uh, like we know, because if you don't show me the system and the <laughs> all the code, then it means nothing. At least put me in the right direction, but don't tell me this is the system. In any case, the advantage using a data mining uh, packages is you can throw everything at it <laughs> and see what sticks. So let's do that. So in Strategy Quant X, you can use a template. So if you go to Advance and click Template, now you can do this and you can add a random condition. And once you save this as a template, you can come to Builder and build from the template. The only thing you need to uh, do is this, is how many other conditions you want beside the Stochastic or the Williams percent up. In this case, I just instructed SQX to add only one condition. And then in the data blocks, I switched everything on. So here for, for a one and 100 blocks. So there is, there are 500 blocks. And of course, with all the variations in it. And I only did the profit factor 1.2 return to drawdown ratio above two and number of trades above 50. And then I asked it to build a thousand strategies, which it did. And here they are. And the only reason I'm telling you, I'm showing you this, of course, these are garbage strategies, most likely overfit. There is no robustness testing on them. But I want to show you the ideas that you can get out of this package. So I sort, let's so I sorted them by return to drawdown ratio. And let's look at some source code. So let's see. So we always have this condition, which is the stochastic below 20. This will never change. We're only changing the next condition. So in this case, this is the SMA uh, higher than the fractal down, which I don't know what is that. And then this one, the Ichimoku is rising for 14 bars. This one is the uh, Kaufman adaptive moving average is uh, i mean don't uh, it looks like it's too long but these are actually just variable which they will have the values here so this will be 30 30 whatever so just remember this is uh, comma is above slow comma basically the fast moving average higher than the slow moving average but instead of moving average we're using kaufman adaptive moving average session open is higher than ichimoku this is i mean uh, very uh I mean, I would never think of this, and I assume you are the same. Uh, you would never come up with this idea. Ulcer index, again, a very strange idea. And look at this. <laughs> Ulcer index is lower than Stat Oasis Direction. This is a custom block. Again, I would never come up with this. 
and again this is another custom block of mine so double bottom this is again don't look at this as too long this is only the definition of the double bottom custom block so you can see like we can see comma came up twice in the top and also index came up twice in the top so from that already you can pick up you say oh okay maybe so kaufman adaptive moving average is a good filter also super trend came up twice in the top because i sorted these by return to drawdown so maybe then i should look at that so a data mining package we know that all these are overfit strategies but when i see what names are coming up in the top let's say 50 out of a thousand then i can get an idea okay which uh, indicator will most likely play a better role or a robust role in building a robust strategy also when you build custom blocks like i did i built uh, uh, the uh, candlestick uh, patterns i built uh, multi-bar patterns and of course throughout uh, the past two years i built many other custom blocks that are <laughs> not shared with you but it's really nice that you can see when I build these custom blocks, they were never meant to be acted as a filter, but now that I include them, they come up as a, uh, as a filter. So you can see we can use the data mining package for our benefit, even though we know what we are building. We are building an oversold on a mere version instrument. So as usual, I hope what I showed you now shed a light on another path that you can take using these data mining packages to formulate a more robust strategy as always if you have any questions i'm happy to answer them or if you have any comments please do share them down below or join the discord server through the patreon link down below and as usual good luck with your trading good luck with your investing stay safe and i'll see you soon